Welcome, everybody, to another presentation of the NBA Live on 2K Sports. With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. And joining us on the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. We've got the San Antonio Spurs facing the Golden State Warriors. And it's going to be the Spurs off the tip. And a look at the starters for San Antonio. Green out there with Tony Parker. Then there's Duncan. Then it's Splitter. And it's Leonard in at the three. Now here's Leonard. Great look, but off the mark. Boy, he'll usually knock it down if he's left that wide open. Just comes up empty. Right side, Green. Outside, Curry. A three ball. Knocks down the three ball. Curry's got the opening basket of the game for the Warriors. Well, I'm not sure there's a player in the league with a better feel for that shot than Steph Curry. If he gets it off clean, you know it's going in. Now oh, here's Parker. Pass to split it. Six to shoot. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Here's Duncan. Splitter trying to break free. And Duncan with the basket on the assist by Leonard. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Warriors. To the inside, Thompson. No good that time. Great tee that time from Leonard. Down low. Terrific assist, a nice finish. Solid play all around. Well, Kawhi Leonard's passing skills have developed over the years, and if you give him that much attention, he'll find his teammates. Over in the corner, Green. Another three for Golden State. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Parker against Curry. Parker kicks to Duncan. Pass to Leonard. Let's it go. Green with the rebound. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. And that's part of his game. Love seeing Duncan just sky up there to reject shots. Does a great job of utilizing that wingspan along with his timing. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Parker outside. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Well, Kawhi has become one of the smartest offensive players in the game. Understanding use of the shot fake and what it can give you. A free throw good from Kawhi Leonard. Free throws good from Kawhi Leonard. Well, you think back to draft day in 2011. It was quiet then. It became loud as his career went on. But the Spurs get the draft rights to Kawhi Leonard on that day for George Hill. Incredible. Now here's Curry. Russell feeling it out a bit. And stolen by Splitter. And a fast break now for the Spurs. And it's Green missing. And so Curry will bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. Trailing by two. Outside, Green. It's stolen by Curry. One-on-one -on -one fast break. Let's it fly from 18. They get it back. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. Swallowing up those caroms, you can see the impact of Pauly Stein's great leaping ability. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And not the guy you want to see at the line too often. Season numbers has him in the bottom tier of the league. Now here's Green. No points in the game yet for him. Duncan finds Leonard. That's good, and so Duncan with the assist. Leonard doesn't give the defense time to react. His catch-and-shoot game is on point. The pass to Thompson. 
he doesn't hit that one. Now San Antonio takes it the other way. Parker against Curry. And that one's good. Parker. And able to get it done once again in close. Just one of the ultimate finishers at the rim. Curry against Parker. Holly Stein up top. Back to Curry. Five to shoot. And the Warriors miss again. San Antonio leading by three. Outside Leonard. On the wing, Green. He's guarded by Russell. His three pointers off the mark. Here's Golden State. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Greg Popovich and I did speak a few minutes ago. One player he's focused on slowing down is Clay Thompson. We all know he can heat up in a hurry, so coach wants them to stay in his hip pocket and contest the catch and try to keep the ball out of his hands before he shoots. Kevin? Thank you, David. Now, here's Thompson after the miss from Tim Duncan. And out of bounds as San Antonio gains possession. So it's San Antonio now. Parker right side. Duncan trying to break loose. And that one's good. Parker. Parker's got six. Yeah, that floater is another one of Parker's go-to shots. One that continues to befuddle defenses. Outside Curry. Takes a three. Tim Duncan with the rebound. Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through. See if you can get an easy opportunity. Green passes to Parker. Now here's Splitter. He's guarded by Russell. Splitter, that's good. Yeah, the assist by Parker, just brilliant. Really seeing his teammates out there. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Holly Stein finds Thompson. It's good. It's his second basket. He's shooting two for four. You know, you have to use the bounce pass in that instance to make the catch easier. That's tipped, and it goes out of bounds. That one's off Parker. Warriors trail by three. Passes it to Curry. Good D by Parker. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. Here's Leonard. Lays it up off the glass. Leonard's got his second basket of the game. Well, with a seven foot three wingspan, Kawhi Leonard can beat even good defense with that reach. Pass to Thompson. Holly Stein dishes to Russell. Green draws the double. Duncan with the block. And Duncan throws it down hard. Yeah, and at 7-1, Duncan is a problem in the paint. Outstanding timeout, with his timeout. extension there and just hammering it home. And the Warriors decide to take their first timeout here. Good timing. They're really struggling offensively. Sometimes it just feels like misses become contagious. He wants to settle his guys down right now. Looney's checked in for Cauley Stein. Alfonso McKinney comes in for Green. Len Robinson, the third, is checked in for Clay Thompson. And Alec Burks subbed in for Russell. San Antonio also making some changes. Bellinelli, he's checked in for Splitter. Corey Joseph comes in for Danny Green. And it's Mills in for Parker. Robinson misses. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. And it's Leonard missing. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. Pass to Curry. Here's Looney, covered by Mills. Here's Looney, five on the clock. 
Burks kicks to Kirk. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Leonard with no one around. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. I'll tell you, he's trying to help them extend this lead, but it's been a tough night for him individually. Burks, the pass to Curry. Back to Burks. The pass to McKinney. Curry outside. Hands it from downtown. Curry's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for the Warriors. I'm not sure there's a more dangerous catch-and-shoot player in the NBA than Steph Curry. If you give him space, look out. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. Here's Looney. He's still scoreless so far in this one. To the paint, here's McKinney. Can't hit that one. Great D that time from Leonard. Bellinelli against Burks. And Bellinelli kicks to Duncan. Burks pulls it in. And so it's Burks bringing it up now for Golden State. Four point game. Curry passes to Burks. Now Curry. He has six. I'm deep. Burks can't get it to go. Robinson against Leonard. Curry deciding where to go with it. And Curry throws it down. Wow, well done on the part of Steph Curry. Takes advantage of his momentum off the dribble drive and gets the elevation he needs to finish with authority. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. Side Leonard. And the foul on Glenn Robinson. That's his first foul. Joseph against Burks. From downtown. Shot by Joseph. No good. The Warriors trailing. And to get open is Robinson. Curry gets the bucket. Curry's got 10 points. What's incredible to me is the finishing ability Steph Curry has at the rim, oversized and through contact. Now here's Mills. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Boy, a wide open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. And Robinson throws it down hard. Well, Burke showing he's more than just a scorer. Terrific pass to his teammate. Here's Joseph. Dishes at the middle. And they get it. Connects from three-point range. And the Spurs lead by one. Guys, what a tight start to the game this has been. And it's still in the first half. This could be a wild one. Curry kicks to Burks. 103 left here in the first quarter. 
Shot clock at five. Here's Looney. It doesn't go for him. And the Spurs going the other way now. Joseph against Robinson. Joseph, the pass to Leonard. There it is, his third basket. He's taken seven shots to get those three. Now, this is a small forward who, because he's 230 pounds, can hold his own down in the low post. That is nicely done. Poked away. Outside curve. But Trey, good for another field goal. Number five in the night, five for ten shooting. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. So Joseph will go to the free throw line. It's going to go on Alec Burks. The Spurs shooting their third free throw shot of the game. like about Corey Joseph is this guy will give you a little bit of everything perhaps most importantly guys you know he's going to play consistently good defense and here is Curry from deep three-point range he beat the buzzer <laughs> delivery at the buzzer that is beautifully done oh, that's a miracle are, are you kidding me Listen, under duress of the end of the period, you just throw it up and hope. Yeah, it's a tie game, and... Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. What do you guys think about the Warriors here so far? Just stretching out the floor in that first, uh, they had the defense scrambling. And that was obviously the plan coming in. Now the big question, can they maintain that efficiency from range as the game goes along? And so Curry will bring it up for the Warriors. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. On the court right now for the Spurs. Duncan out there with Kawhi Leonard. Then there's Bellinelli, and it's Mills, and it's Joseph in at the shooting guard. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. You know, his positioning near the hoop, always to his advantage. Just a terrific job to tip that one back in. Mills passes to Duncan. And it's Joseph, top of the key. No good with the triple. The Warriors lead it. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, over the last few years, there's been a lot of talk about seeding playoff teams 1 through 16, regardless of conference. Now, taking the top 16 teams is a tough sell, especially for owners whose teams are in the relatively weaker Eastern Conference. Taking eight teams from each conference and then cross-seeding earlier than the finals is something that does seem possible down the road. The reward for fans might be a finals matchup with the two best teams in the league. Kevin? Interesting ideas. David, thank you. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. And Leonard gets it to go. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. Passes to Burks. Outside, Robinson. Pass to McKinney. There's the dish to Burks. Just five on the clock. Over Duncan. Burks can't get it to go. San Antonio leading. Mills in the corner. It's good from long range. Mills has got his second bucket of the night. Well, the defense deserves to get burned. Absolutely no excuse for leaving him open. Burks on the wing to end the run. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Burks has got his first three points of the game. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Joseph the pass to Leonard. 
Now here's Mills. Kicks it to Bellinelli. And it's out of bounds. The Spurs able to retain possession here. And the Warriors with some changes. Green comes in for Robinson. And it's Russell in for Steph Curry. The Spurs also with the sub. Splitter is checked in for Tim Duncan. Just two to shoot. A shot by Bellinelli. No good. And so here is Golden State trailing by two. Russell passes to Green. The fader. Rebound San Antonio. No one near him on that one. And I'm not sure why he felt like he needed to fade away. Leonard draws the double. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Well, Kawhi Leonard is a career 85% free throw shooter. You do not want to put him at the line. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. The free throw good from Kawhi Leonard. Willie Cauley Stein, he's checked in for the Warriors. Clay Thompson comes in for Alfonso McKinney. San Antonio also making some changes. Green comes in for Marco Bellinelli. And Parker subbed in for Patty Mills. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Just feels like the basket is looking awfully small to them right now. They're having a hard time getting anything to fall. Trail by four. Burks looking around. Outside Russell. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. And the poise of D'Angelo Russell, despite the size all around him, that's nice. Back to Parker. Down to five on the shot clock, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to go on Willie Cauley-Stein. And Parker has such speed and creativity, just causes the defense fits in terms of how to properly guard it. The Spurs shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. And the first one at the line is good. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. And so he makes both from the line. So here's Burks. Outside, Russell. Pass to Thompson. For the three. It's rebounded by Leonard. Leonard's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And Green gets it to go. Oh, great ball movement there. And so it's Burks bringing it up now for Golden State. Six-point game. Outside, Russell. Over Parker. And Russell gets it to go. Well, this is a main strength of D'Angelo Russell. When he gets room to shoot from the mid-range, there's no hesitation. Parker kicks to Green. 
And there's the pass to Leonard. Parker with it. Puts it up from 17. Offensive rebound outside Joseph. Another shot. And the rejection by Coley Stein. You better come stronger than that. Coley Stein, a presence defensively. Here's Green, and they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24-second violation. Warriors trail by four. Now, here is Russell. He dishes it to Burks. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Burks has got five points now in the quarter. You give Alec Burks a little daylight. This guy is ready to fire. 100 kicks to Green. Spurs working the ball around now. Joseph down low. Burks covering. Shot by Joseph. No good. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Burks' shot is good. Well, after a less than stellar start in the first quarter, you like to see that shot go down. Joseph looking around. He hits through for a second basket. He's now two for six. Well, you just need to have a high level of basketball IQ in the pick and roll. Corey Joseph, step to the mic, sir. Burks kicks to Russell. Inside, Green. Two points, that one goes. Green's got it all tied up now for the Warriors. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Parker passes to Joseph. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Joseph's got seven. Uh, just talk about staying under control. Corey Joseph, a seasoned veteran who understands how to score against a tough defender. Now here's Cauley Stein. Back to Russell. And it's Golden State with another. I'll tell you, you can't put your head down after a tough first quarter. You've got to keep fighting, and now he's starting to roll. Parker kicks to Joseph. Cauley Stein grabs the board. Joseph's gone three for eight tonight from the field. The rim rattling two-handed jam. What terrific quickness. The burst of Alec Burks looking strong inside. Parker against Russell. And that one, good. That's 10 points for Tony Parker. And this guy is a scoring machine. I mean, I know I'm not the only one to describe him that way. Russell inside. He's against Parker. Russell with the bucket. He's got eight. Boy, it took him a while to warm up, but since the second quarter, he's on fire. Parker dishes to Joseph. He kicks to Splitter. Leonard on the wing, headed by Green. Outside, Joseph. Just five to shoot. Over Burks. They grab their own miss. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Boy, remarkable watching Alec Burks power through the defense. Passes it to Leonard. Great T that time from Green. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such a respected defender. And what you love about his work defensively, the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. So it's San Antonio now. The Warriors making the shot. And that one's good. Parker. Oh, such a field shot there. The floater. Warriors leading by four. And Joseph gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. 
And the Warriors making a change here. Curry's checked in. Spurs also with the sub. Duncan's checked in. Thompson passes to Curry. Cauley Stein with it. Pass to Russell. Outside, Green. Lock at six. Green draws the double. And out of bounds as the Spurs gain possession. That almost looked like bad communication. You hate to see that kind of mistake. Bellinelli, he's checked in for Leonard. And the Spurs with possession here. Parker surveying the floor. In the corner, it's Bellinelli. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Parker. Parker's got three assists tonight. I'll tell you, he'll take that all day, every day. I'm sure he was shocked to find himself that wide open. Now a timeout called by Golden State. The Warriors leading. Outside, Russell. Curry, wide open. Sinks the three-pointer. Curry's got 19 points. And they're not afraid to let it fly from deep. They're looking to extend their lead with the three ball here in the second quarter. Outside, Green. Holly Stein against Splitter. Clock at four. And Willie Cauley Stein gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. To a certain extent, you like the aggressiveness, but that's two fouls already. Take a step back. Kevon Looney is checked in for the Warriors. And Robbins in the third comes in for Thompson. The Spurs also with the sub. Mills is checked in for Green. Now here's Mills. Six points for him. Let's the three fly. And it's Looney with the rebound. It's three on three on the fast break. Green dishes to Robinson. Back to Green. Mills with the steal. High arcing shot. Yeah, how about the hustle of Splitter? Just never stops working on the boards. And here's Golden State. Outside, Russell. Top of the key, Looney. Back to Russell. Five to shoot. Golden State needs to get off a shot. And it's Green missing. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Bellinelli against Russell. Bellinelli passes to split it. Mills looking it over. The Spurs getting another chance here. Parker finds Duncan. Over Robinson. With the second effort. Here's Splitter. And Looney sends it back. Here's Russell. And the Warriors miss again. On the wing, Bellinelli. And the three ball is good. Bellinelli's got six here in this quarter. It has been nip and tuck through the first half. Exactly, guys. The way it seesawed back and forth, unbelievable. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. It's the Spurs up by one. Live from Chase Center, you're watching 2K Sports. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. 
Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Kawhi Leonard is having one of those nights. He had 14 points, four rebounds, and three assists. Kenny, what was your take on San Antonio? Well, I love the way they're pushing the tempo, beating the defense down the floor, filling the lanes, finishing with the... And that'll... And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Really an incredible game from Stephen Curry. And, and you know he's going to put up points every time out, but boy, he made it look so easy in that first half. And let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. In it forward, it's Thompson and Green. Curry and Russell are the backcourt set. And it's Cauley Stein in at the five spot. That's Steve Kerr's five as we get into the second half. Parker against Russell. 17-foot shot on the way. And it's off the back rim, no good. And he'll have a chance for a three-point play. It's on Kawhi Leonard. Guys, just incredible concentration from the crafty guard. D'Angelo Russell, tough to stop. First trip to the free-throw line for him tonight. A 78% foul shooter a season ago. Pretty steady when he's at the line. throw good Russell well D'Angelo Russell is a dynamic scorer in the NBA he's got a unique skill set at the position the key is he's got to continue to grow as a decision maker Parker's shot is off and here's Green he'll bring it up for Golden State the lead is two and Coley Stein throws it down just throw it up there Trill Will's gonna take care of the rest here are the Spurs with the ball Green passes to Parker. Cauley Stein grabs the board. Cauley Stein's got seven rebounds in the game. Well, an 0-3 start to the half. You need to pick it up and start to put some pressure on your opponent. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, the Warriors may have some injuries that they're going to deal with this season, but they're going to do it in a dynamic new building, Chase Center in San Francisco. The more than one billion, that's with a B, dollar arena, is hopefully going to generate revenue for the team off the floor and allow them to keep some great players in uniform on the floor. It's going to be state of the art here in Golden State as the team moves from Oakland after spending more than four decades playing at Oracle Arena. The A's, you and I were talking, they hate to leave where they've been so successful in Oakland, but this building, this building is amazing. Thank you. The Spurs have made the most out of their opportunities at the line. They have yet to miss in seven attempts. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. Yeah, the quiet intensity that Duncan brings, j just incredible. He's a consistent force whose teammates really look up to. He's off on the second. And it's Golden State's ball. They're on a 9-1 to one run right now. And Green with the basket on the assist by Thompson. 
Green's got the lead up to nine now for the Warriors. Russell against Parker. Pass to Leonard. The pass to Duncan. Basket counts. Duncan's got nine. And Duncan just superb when he gets in close to the basket. He has a number of moves to choose from and that soft, delicate touch near the rim. Curry kicks to Thompson. And another three for Golden State. And you know what? They've been on a nice run here. Had the ability to widen the gap. Now they are rolling. This is a dominant stretch. I am so impressed with how they played together as a unit over this last stretch. Splitter finds Parker. No good that time. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Russell passes to Kerr. High post, Cauley Stein. Pass to Russell. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. And it's off from three-point range. Spurs trail by 10. Here's Parker to the middle. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. At nearly seven feet tall, Splitter is a handful when he's that close to the basket. You just got to wrap him up. The Spurs have knocked down eight of nine free throw attempts. I'd say those numbers read pretty well. Shooting two. And he makes the first. A former NBA champion, Splitter is a dependable role player, efficient scorer, and solid post defender. Alfonso McKinney is checked in for Draymond Green. Splitter drops them both. Here's Golden State. They're on a 14 to 5 run. Here's Curry. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Russell's got six assists now in the game. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Outside, green. Inside. Here's Duncan. Plays it up and banks it in. Duncan's got five points now in the quarter. Well, Danny Green excels at recognizing when his teammates have open looks and putting it on the money. Nicely done. Here's Curry. Gets it to fall, and now he's 10 of 15 on the game. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. For San Antonio, they have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. <laughs> Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for Leonard. San Antonio making a switch here. Joseph's checked in. Both shots good from the strike. Warriors leading by eight. Leonard with the steal. Tries again. Parker gets that one to fall. That's his sixth field goal. He has shot the ball 12 times. How about the purpose with which he's crashing the backboards right now? Some hard-earned second-chance points. Holly Stein dishes to Russell. 
Golden State moving the ball around. Here's McKinney. He's covered by Leonard. Joseph against Russell. Outside Leonard. Drills it from outside. Leonard's got 19 points. Let's remember, in college, just a 25% three-point shooter. But Kawhi Leonard, he makes a weakness a strength. Pass to McKinney. Back to Curry. Shot clock at six. Ball's knocked loose. And now in transition is Parker. Here we go. Bucket is good. And now just a one-point Warrior lead. And Parker is the ultimate attacker in the open floor. He gets the ball and doesn't think twice about getting to the rim. He couldn't believe how open he was. He just couldn't convert it. Pass to Leonard. For the lead. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. You can see the kind of savvy Kawhi Leonard plays with. This guy makes the defense commit and gets himself to the foul line. He's gone six of six from the free throw line. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. Some changes for Golden State. Looney's checked in for Carly Stein, and Alec Burks subbed in for D'Angelo Russell. The Spurs also with the sub. Mills is checked in. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Well, a little shaky from the line, and instead of putting them in front, he's only able to tie it up. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Oh, Leonard in position. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. Incredible wingspan, unbelievable hands. The alley-oop is easy. And here's Curry, who brings it up for the Warriors. They've led by as much as 10. The three. Rebounded by the Spurs. Leonard's got his fifth rebound in this one. In the first half, he was on fire from range, but he hasn't knocked one down since. And again, it's the Spurs from time deep. Out, out. Well, they're calling his number time and time again, and he is delivering. Timeout time called the Warriors. You have to like what we're seeing so far from Kawhi Leonard. This is a timely timeout because this guy is hurting them. They've got to figure it out. So time I see him in the club, I've been away for a while. I'm in the band Debate, I always debate what you debate. Glenn Robinson, the third, is checked in for the Warriors. Bellinelli, he's checked in for the Spurs. Warriors trail by three. Curry with it. 25 points in the game. There's the pass to Burks. It's stolen by Duncan. Here's Mills. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Yeah, heard the whistle and then kept his focus and able to still knock it down. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Guys, we've seen a lot of turnovers in this one. Yeah, focus, focus, focus. Just make the simple play. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. Well, a performance worthy of an all-time great. And I think at this point, we're comfortable putting that label on Stephen Curry. And Mills gets to Leonard, and it's good. Two points. Leonard's got 13 points here in the second half alone. Well, they're leading in large part because of the work he's put in in this quarter. This is nicely done. 
outside curve. On deep. It's hauled in by Duncan. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Shots good by Mills. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. Burks against Joseph. Curry can't get it to go. Spurs leading by nine. Oh, Leonard in position. I'll tell you, a terrific read from Corey Joseph. He recognizes the overcommitment of the defense and takes advantage. Passes it to Looney. Kicks it to Burks. Will it go? Looks good. Is good. That's his seventh basket in 12 tries. Such a reliable threat from range. You'd think the defense might key on him a little bit more. Pass to Mills. Dishes it to Duncan. Six on the shot clock. Let's it go with a three. Offensive rebound. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. Duncan's got seven now in this quarter. Outside Robinson. There's the double team with Joseph. Back to Burks. Pass to McKinney. And there it is for him. McKinney's got his second basket. How about the timing? Can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. Now the pass to Bellinelli. Joseph against Burks. It's stolen. Now running up the court, Robinson pushing it up. The quick look, no good that time. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. Left side, Leonard. And Duncan gets it to go on the assist from Leonard. Leonard's got five assists tonight. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Over to the left wing. And there's the whistle. Screen. Illegal screen. This game is going to get even more out of hand unless they start valuing the basketball. Green, he's checked in for Alec Burks. And San Antonio also making a switch. Splitters checked in for Joseph. Spurs leading by 10. Here's Mills. He's got 12. Passes it to Bellinelli. Here's the three. Good on the three-point shot. Bellinelli's got nine. And, and just no excuse, guys, for leaving a shooter like him open beyond the arc. Pass to Looney. Golden State moving it around. Green kicks to McKinney. And again, it's the Warriors missing. And here's Leonard. And finished off by Leonard. Uh, Kawhi Leonard has averaged 25-plus across multiple seasons. We are talking about an elite scorer. 58 seconds left here in the third quarter. Curry shot is off. San Antonio with the ball. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 15 points. Bellinelli passes to Mills. The dish to Duncan. Leonard draws the double to the inside. Bellinelli, and that comes off the assist by Duncan. Duncan's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Bellinelli's gone four for five from the floor tonight. Just one miss. Now here's Curry, covered by Mills. Here's Looney. Looking to end the run, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Tim Duncan picks one up. The Warriors have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. And as a team, excellent a season ago, about 80% when they got to the line. Good on both. And it's Mills with the ball for San Antonio. To the paint, here's Duncan. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots at the game right here. Tim Duncan taking two shots.
Shooting two. That free throw good from Duncan. And he can't hit the second. Now Curry. And again, it's the Warriors missing. No good there. And so it's San Antonio in command with a 16-point lead as the buzzer sounds. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. And, Greg, nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. On the floor for San Antonio, starting the fourth quarter. We've got Splitter. Ellinelli is out there with Duncan, and it's Mills, and it's Parker in at the one. Well, that basket began with Steph Curry's defense. He's thinking one step ahead creates the steal and triggers the break. Parker kicks to Bellinelli. Pass to Duncan. to Bellinelli down to five on the shot clock it's Parker outside well the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown they're very fortunate he missed and Green slams it in well Green likes to push the pace that's for sure great at making his way up the court and getting to the right spot Parker passes to Mills that drops and it comes off an assist from Parker Parker's got his fourth assist in this one. Warriors trail by 14. And a deep three from Curry. Gets it to go from beyond the up. Curry's got 32 points in the game. Boy, I don't know that I've ever seen a better pull-up jump shooter than Stephen Curry. An amazing ability to stop on a dime. And here's Mills from the arc. Warriors with the rebound. Looney's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Robinson against Parker. Robinson passes to Russell. He tries for three, and Robinson gets it to go on the assist by Russell. Russell's got assist number eight now on the night. Robinson against Parker. Here's Duncan. Whistle blows. Bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Boy, his hard work on the offensive glass, earning an additional opportunity. And the Warriors with some changes. Billy Cauley-Stein comes in for Kavon Looney. And Thompson in for Glenn Robinson the third. Danny Green, he's checked in for the Spurs. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. The free throw drops for Duncan. And after attempting no free throws in the first half, now he's putting the defense back on its heels. And here is Green. Here's the floater. Holly Stein. I think you can make a strong case that Draymond Green is the best passing four in the league. Unreal court vision. And D'Angelo Russell picks up the foul. That's his first foul. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. 
Parker against Curry. And Duncan throws it down hard. It's just a great playmaking sequence by Parker there, coming away with the assist. Here's Curry. Sweet little floater. Curry's got 15 points here in the second half. He has definitely shown up to play. He's done his part, really just trying to battle his team back into it. Splitter with the ball, out defended by Carly Stein, and Tremont Green picks up the foul. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Fourth foul of the night. Now he needs to be smart, can't reach in and pick up something foolish. Quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. Parker against Green. Just five on the clock. And this is why Draymond is one of the best defenders in the NBA. Constant energy, and it's absolutely infectious. Shooting two. Free throw good, Duncan. Duncan drops them both. Warriors trail by 11. Right side curve. Rebounded by the Spurs. 17 points was their biggest margin. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. And Bellinelli kicks to Parker. Shot clock at five. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Oh, that, that's just too easy for Parker there. He, he loves getting those opportunities. Outside Russell. Over Green. It's good in the San Antonio lead. It's got down to 11 as the basket is good from Russell. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time, Greg. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. And that's going to be his fifth, guys. One more, and he's done. Shooting two. And that one falls for Splitter. Kawhi Leonard's checked in for San Antonio. And he makes the first, but misses the second. And here's Curry, who brings it up for the Warriors. Down by 12. There's the lob to the hoop. And Curry Stein throws it down. As great a scorer as he is, Steph Curry is a willing mover of the basketball. He doesn't get enough credit to me for playing the right way. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. Boy, and on a night where he's been so smart handling the ball, that's his first big mistake. First team. This gives them the opportunity to get within 10. Down low, Russell, and the slam dunk by Russell. D'Angelo Russell rises up and drops the hammer. Leonard against Thompson. Parker outside. Floats one. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. 
Leonard's got six assists now in the game. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. And it is a major disadvantage down the stretch if you can't guard. This may just come down to who has the ball last. Curry against Parker. Outside, Green. Back to Parker. Duncan high post. Six to shoot. The Spurs need to get a shot off here. Three pointer. But they recover. The shot, no good. Warriors trail by eight. Thompson from long range. That's no good. He's shooting five of ten for the night. Green against Russell. Green deciding where to go with it. Duncan, the pass to Green. He kicks it to Leonard. Lock at six. Over Green. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Outside Curry. Outside Russell. The feed to Cauley Stein. Great tee that time from Duncan. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. We call that a great contest. You know this is something he brings to the table, the ability to anchor your defense. Here's Curry, and it's in there. Curry's got nine points in the quarter. Spurs leading by eight. Here's Parker with the three, sinks the triple. Well, wow, Parker does not take many threes. When he does, you just have a feeling it's going in. Takes the three. A shot by Curry, no good. When you're not in rhythm with the three ball, why do you keep firing from there? Green dishes to splitter. To the inside. And Parker with the basket on the assist from Tiago Splitter. And now it's up to 25 points for Parker. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Thompson finds Green. Back to Thompson. Hits the three-point bomb. I'll tell you, individually, he is doing all he can. But right now, somebody's got to step in and support this guy. San Antonio calls timeout. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath. Presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Tim Duncan. And the shooting percentage, how about all the way in the 60s, shows how deadly he could be when he's feeling it. And as locked in as he was, they were trying to feed him as much as possible. But he never got out of control. I mean, he kept his head and just stayed patient. And as the star of this team, he knows he's going to be the object of the crowd's anger. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Well, guys, during the last break, I listened to Greg Popovich talk to his team. He loves the aggressiveness on D. He said, we're doing a great job of challenging everything they're trying to do. Stay active, talk to each other, don't let up. Kevin? defense the Warriors here's Parker Coley Stein with the defensive effort Warriors trail by 10 he lobs it up stolen away nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there Leonard attacking banked in off the glass Leonard's got four this quarter 
And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Here's Curry with the three. Knocked loose. Green finds Curry. Back to Green. Looking for Carly Stein. He gets it there. Carly Stein, a tremendous athlete and a dynamic finisher. Curry against Parker. Shoots over Curry. Duncan. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Great tee that time from Green. Thompson inside. He's covered by Leonard. And the pass to Russell. Here's Cauley Stein. They get it again. That's one he knows he should have drained. Leonard the pass to split it. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. And the Spurs lead by 12. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. And the basket by Curry. Well, they're not behind because of this guy. He is putting on a tremendous run. And it's Parker with the ball, bringing it up for the Spurs. Over Curry. Another one falls for San Antonio. And looking like Parker is in that zone. Now here's Curry. And it's Russell in the corner. Passes to Cauley Stone. Green left side. That one's not going to go. And the Spurs going the other way now. Parker against Curry. Parker outside. Here's Duncan. Cauley Stein grabs the board. Cauley Stein's got rebound number 13 with that last one. Curry finds Russell. Inside. Thompson is double. That one's good. The San Antonio lead has cut down now to just 10 on the basket from Green. Well, that's where you see the IQ of Clay Thompson, a step ahead of everyone else. A beautiful delivery. Parker dishes to Leonard. Back to Parker. Splitter trying to break free. Here's Duncan. Cauley Stein grabs the board. Golden State running out of time. And Green slams it in. When Russell gets his teammates involved, it makes this entire team better, and it'll make him more effective at the point position. Outside Leonard. Duncan scanning the floor. Back to Leonard. Shot clock at six. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. Thompson for the triple. Rebound by Tony Parker. Green, the pass to Leonard. Kicks to Parker. Back to Leonard. From about 19 feet, that one doesn't drop. And it's Russell in the corner. From outside, off the mark. Parker dishes to Splitter. And so it's San Antonio with the win. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And, and Kevin, how about the mental toughness that this group showed? They, they were never yes. rattled at all by the opposing fans. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.